Hello my friends, welcome back to another Apples and Tiaras vlog. If you're new here, my name is Charlotte and I'm a fourth grade science and social studies teacher in Arizona. So um, today is September 25th and it's Monday and I wanted to use today's video to show you guys my daily slides. So I've had tons of people in my comments ask me about my daily slides, where are they from, what's on them, and I just wanted to show you guys my daily slides. So I'm going to pull up my daily slides for the week and I'm just going to kind of like walk you guys through them, um, explain how I make them and what's on them and why. <laughs> okay, so this is the first slide that is on my weekly um, slideshow. So I make a slideshow every week and I label it by the week number and the date. These also act as lesson plans, even though I don't have to turn them in. Um, they do act as a lesson plan and everything is in them. Um, and then next year, all I have to do is open each week and edit depending on what we're doing, but it's kind of like nice because everything's already made. Um, so the slides themselves, the backgrounds are made on Canva. Um, and I just kind of adjust them. I find a template that I like and then I change the background and I usually have one that's different for every season or like if there's a special holiday, um, then I change it. But it is almost October, so it's now fall. Um, and if you can hear what's going on outside, it is beautiful. It's like 70 degrees um, and the leaves are starting to fall. It's nice and crisp. So I have the window open. Um, but in the morning when my students come in, we do soft start at my school. So that means at 745, my students start trickling in and between 745 and 805, they're coming in and they're sitting down to work on something quietly. So um, before the bell, their to-do list is to work on their most current Zern lesson. And this is for our math teacher. Um, it's just a nice way to get the kids practice on whatever math lesson they were learning. Um, we use Eureka Math here and um, if you use Eureka Math, you know it moves really quickly. So using the Zern lesson is nice to just get extra practice. And then I always have the lunch of the week slide uh, section filled out. Um, and so the majority of the slide, like the background and the squares, those all are a background template. And then I just put the texts and the pictures in each day or each week, depending on what's going on. Um, and then I have a daily hype. So I use the daily hypes from Miss R's project. I do this with my homeroom every day. It's like I start at 8.05 and I typically try to make it last about 10 minutes between this and then um, I'll show you I do good things every morning with my homeroom. Um, and so between that and this, I try to take like 10 minutes on that. Um, so this is like their daily hype or the daily, um, I actually just take them right from her, um, slides every week. I just copy and paste the picture and then these always stay here, the daily affirmations. Um, and so that's there for us to use. And then obviously a little bit moji. And then I always have some sort of music playing. This one is called Happy Autumn Morning and it's like coffee shop. It's like coffee shop jazz music this time. Um, I've had Native American flute and drums playing for the last couple weeks, but I thought I would mix it up this week. Um, and then each day I also have a daily agenda slide which is like the daily schedule and so this is usually up for my blocks. The morning slide is typically only up for my homeroom and then when the other classes come in this is what they will see. Um, so we have the daily schedule for what's going to go on for and during that class time. Um, the learning targets always up on the whiteboard so that I can change this and the learning target is all the way always there um, and then they have a daily warm-up so today they're going to be doing um, they're going to be filling out a form to tell me which tribe they're going to be researching this year or this yeah this year <laughs> and then there's usually five minute um, five minutes allowed for their warm-up um, so I do that and then I either do with each class either good things which is where they share something good with their table um, or with the class. Um, I typically try to do good things with my homeroom only and then do a would you rather with my home or with my blocks just because I know that they're getting good things in their homerooms and I try to do something a little bit different with them. 
um, just to kind of mix it up. So today we're going to be doing our Tribe Choice Google form. They'll receive their Google Slides packet and notes for their research projects. I will do a quick model of note taking and then they will actually begin researching information and taking notes. And then this is just a little reminder for them um, that their notes pages will be checked periodically um, for mini grades. So it's just to keep them accountable for taking notes and making sure that they're not just taking information and putting them directly on slides. Um, so we want to practice good appropriate research skills and um, habits. And then I also have a slide for WIN, which is our um, intervention block. I have the high group, um, so we typically do um, a literature study and then some sort of practice for math. Um, so today we'll be reading holes chapters 10 and 12, and then we do comprehension questions, and these are fifth grade level um, standards that we practice. And then for writing, they come in for the first 10 minutes and they work on a daily language page, which is usually um, something that's related to grammar. So like circling or identifying compound sentences, changing adjectives to superlative and comparative, things like that. So they work on their own for 10 minutes and then the last 10 minutes, because this is only a 20 minute block, um, we do correction and check. So I lead corrections and checking. They make corrections with a pencil or a crayon. And then on Fridays, there's a mini quiz. So this block is kind of being used for grammar and this is grade level wide. So um, my teammates had asked um, that we do some grammar practice so that we can support the ELA teacher. So uh, we do that. And then as you can see, each morning slide I've already put in, I do need to do my daily slides for this week, but each um, morning slide will change a bit with the daily hype. Um, and then I like to also change the bitmoji, but I'll probably just keep it for now since it's like the beginning of fall. Um, so you can just see how the daily hype is changing. And then, like I said, each month or season or holiday, I like to mix up the background. Um, so yeah, so all of these slides, the backgrounds themselves have been made in Canva. And then all I do is I upload the background image and usually the text and the videos on the slides get changed. So every, and even the date, the date is something that can be changed via Google slide. So I just have like, this whole part and the boxes with the text inside are made on Canva and I just download them as an image. And then all the other things like the bitmojis and like the, like this kind of text and the videos and stuff, that is all um, using Google Slides. So it's a mixture of Canva and Google Slides. Um, and I just like Google Slides because um, they're easier for me to share in Google Classroom or um, because we're a Google, um, we're a Google suite district. So it just makes it easier to share. Um, but yeah, those are my daily slides. So yeah, I've had a ton of people ask me about daily slides, how I make them, um, what's on them. And so I thought today's video would be kind of just a quick explanation of those. So, um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and don't forget to follow me on the socials, TikTok, Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.